this is our 19 day old pumpkin. Yep. Wait, what? And this is our 21 day old pumpkin. Yeah, it is. So, let's figure out how we got here this week. Pretty girl. Well, it's time to get a video going again. It is Monday, June 19th. And right now, we are on cruise control. The plants are growing. Terminations of the vines have been happening over here, all over here, looking at the 2168 Werner. So whenever we're in cruise control, that always makes me feel like something bad is about to happen. And of course, it's June in Kansas. We've been pretty mild for the most part at the early part of June, but now the 90s and 100 degree temperatures are getting here. So now it's gonna get hard. And as you can see, something's peaking. That's right. We got our girl. We are all in. We are growing. And she is a great shape. Probably the best shaped pumpkin I've ever grown at the moment. So hopefully it holds. You can see the real nice ribs on her. Growing at probably five inches in circumference a day right at the moment, picking up steam. So why is she picking up steam? Well, the plants, when they get terminated on the ends like that, when it's not growing, this is about 40 feet across. So give you an idea of how wide the plant is. It's gonna be 40 feet by about 28 feet or something like that, somewhere in that range, so. When they get terminated on the ends, the leaves get big, they start stop growing, all of the nutrients flows back to this pumpkin. So, and as you can tell, the vines here, I am turning, I'm gonna terminate that vine. That vine here, I'll grow along the edge. This vine here, I'll turn and grow along the edge. I got some side vines growing off of this vine here. It's like two back from the main from the pumpkin, one or two back. I'm not 100% sure of which vine that is. Then we'll just let all those grow off of there. You can see they're starting to peek through on this side. So this will fill in extremely quick, especially with terminations going on. Go look over here at these vines. See what we've got going on. Here's the main vine. I've already started to turn it so that it won't touch the end wall. It'll grow right along the edge here. We'll get rid of these weeds as it grows. It's got a little pumpkin right there, but with this girl, we're all in. I don't pollinate any longer. If for some reason this splits, I'll pollinate another one here just to try to get a big one. We won't, it won't be in a competition pumpkin at that point in time. So if that one doesn't go, the plants are already so big, it'll probably, you know, 14, 1500 pounder you can get, but nothing of real competition. So 2168 Warner. Once again, I have not removed any leaves. So all the leaves I have started with are still for the most part on the plant. So if something was like out of whack or kind of growing at a weird angle, I removed those, but those are the only leaves that have been removed from the plant. Nothing that has needed because of disease or rot or something like that. There hasn't been any of that yet. But we'll find out with all this. You can see how far these are already growing here. Just kind of forking it off of here. You can see all of the heads. So they're kind of coming at an angle here and then I'll straighten them up, but you can see all of the heads right in there. So all of the vines that we need to finish filling in this area are on this side. So. It's just a matter of filling in the area as fast as it's growing. It'll probably be a week to 10 days and that'll be it. We'll have everything filled in, which is all full sad for me. I always like it. I enjoy vine burying. So there's the plant. Let's go check out the other one. And now we're over at the 2425 Deletus. Once again, cobra heads are grow going on. I will get in here and vine berry probably today. I, as long as it gets in, it's going to get hot. So by this afternoon, these will be laying down. Vine bearing sucks at that time, but like I said, I enjoy vine burying, so it doesn't make it so bad. This one, if you remember, is grown in the traditional pattern. So 
how much room we have to fill in is a lot less because of that. So here's the main vine on this girl, way over there. I'm letting it grow to the edge. I might even loop it back around, try to keep it growing for as long as it wants. It normally terminates itself because once all the vines get terminated, that thing starts growing at, I don't know, 20 inches a day or more and it sticks straight up in the air and normally breaks off. So once it gets out to that stage, I really don't care about it. So leaves on this girl are huge. It's always been the taller, bigger leaves. I think I have some. And those of you who are trying to win my competition of show me a bigger leaf than me, keep it up. I, I got to, you know, till the end of the year, I really don't care. You win a seed out of that girl. But uh, there's probably some leaves back there pushing 30 plus inches. So they are huge when they come to the backside of the plant. So absolutely perfect looking there. We'll go check out the pumpkin itself. This one here is two days behind our 2168 Warner. So here's the 2425 Deletus pumpkin. As far as the pumpkin plants or pumpkins are concerned, they are almost twinners. If they were pollinated on the same day, I think they'd almost be the exact same size. So it's gonna be really fun watching these two grow. This one here might be a little bit, ever so slightly bigger than the 2168 Warner, but still the jury is out of whether or not this is going to be white. Is this one going to be an orange, a cream? I'm not sure. I'm pretty darn sure that one's going to be an orange pumpkin, which is awesome. This one here, I don't know. I don't know what color that thing's going to be. If you know, let me know. I don't know what do you think it's going to be. So the stem on this one is absolutely long and massive. It's going to be a great one not quite as tall of a pumpkin it's going to be a little bit more long mama was kind of a blob looking thing and she might turn out to be a blob looking thing too i don't know we'll find out it's going to be fun to see so there's the plant once again leaves are still around the crown of the pumpkin plant where it starts uh leaves over here are huge you can see that leaf burn right there the it's curled but the leaves are still big so leaf burn is no big deal they still get huge massive leaves lots of terminations on this side just as many terminations on that side i'm growing this one several of the vines are coming off of the pumpkin right around the pumpkin area i haven't cut any vines anywhere here we're directing them around here coming right through here they're underneath here they're underneath there so They've already grown out here. We'll direct them into the backside here. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Many vines are coming off of here, growing right under my boards here. Direct several of them over there. We're gonna grow that one. We're gonna grow that one. There's another one right there, and I'm gonna redirect one more this way. So we're gonna give it plenty of vines. I want a lots of vines. We're gonna get a lot closer together over here but I want to fill in this area with tons and tons of vines. That's the goal for this year. As long as the plants are healthy, I want extra, extra vines. I'm not worried about them touching each other or covering them up. I want to see how many leaves I can get and will it help, will it not? That's going to be the goal on this side of the plant. So there it is. We will go take a look here in a couple of days and probably get a video out in a week. Howdy, girl. What'd you say when you walked in here? Whoa, it's big. <laughs> Whoa, that was her first words. And we're standing over the uh, 2168 Werner. And it is, what day is it? Uh, Wednesday, June 21st. First day of summer. This pumpkin turned 18 days old. First, we'll get a quick look at the plant. See, we got a little bit of stuff growing in there. Oh, there's a vine. I think I'm gonna bury that one. Just to let it bury. Looking back here, plants are definitely looking better than in years past. Sun scorch a bit on the first leaves, but basically nothing right now. So we'll keep an eye on that as the temperatures get much hotter. And Elsie girl, why don't you go give your pumpkin a little pumpkin hug on that side. See how big it is. Okay, be careful. Very careful. That's good. 
All right, now get on the other side of it so we can see you right beside it. There you go. And there she is. We'll give it a hug when you get a little bit, when it gets a little bigger, okay? There we go. She's a brute. Absolutely my favorite looking pumpkin that I've ever grown. We'll look at her from this side real quick. There she is. Big stem on that girl. Really just loving that one. 2168 Werner. Let's go check out the other one. Okay, Elsie had to go through the pumpkin patch. How was it? Easy peasy? Uh -huh. Was the leaves very big? Yes. They were? <laughs> yeah, the leaves on this 24, 25 Deletus. They are massive. Yeah. And most all pollinations on this plant are pretty much done on this side. Just a teeny section. The plant is growing extremely fast. So very little to be filled in. All, uh, the terminations will be done there quick. These here got a few more, a few weeds to get rid of. They grow massive. <laughs> Thank you, Elsie. And there we go, a little sneak peek. Let's go check out the pumpkin, 16 days old. And there she is, great shape to this girl. Extremely long stem, look at that thing. Very nice, clean, very good looking, good butt to her. Great shape. Jury's still out. I don't know. What do you think, girls? I think she's going to be a giant. Yeah, do you think it'll be white, or do you think it'll be cream, or do you think it'll be orange? What's your guess? Cream. Yeah, they change. It's hard to tell. But she's going to be a beauty. Quick look at these leaves on the back side. Looking great still. And over there. Very nice on the edges, huge. They've gone crazy, they grow extremely fast. So, the plant, the greenhouse, it's almost filled in. You can see it, it doesn't have a whole lot of space left at this moment in time, so looking great. Okay, one more look here. We'll see how it finishes up. Okay, okay. So, we are standing over the top of the, do you know which one this one is? Do you remember the numbers? 21, does it give you a hint? 68 Werner plant. So, 21 days old right there. What do you think of the girl? Very pretty. Very pretty? What else? Yeah, Camera's brown. here. You gotta tell the Round. Round, okay. Do you think it's gonna be a good shape? I think so. You think that it's gonna be orange? Uh, probably. Probably. Probably going to be one of our best shaped pumpkins ever, right? Yeah. Let's take a quick look at the plant. Okay, you can let us know what you think of the plant compared to years past, but there's the crown right back there. Leaves are still around it, so that's always a good sign. It is going to be 100 degrees today. Oh, and I forgot to mention, today is Saturday, June 24th, I believe. It is Saturday. I believe it's the 24th, so a few days after the summer solstice. So here's all the vines here. We have this little area to fill in. Told you I'd get rid of the weeds. We got that one that's really close. And then as the main vine grew, these are not quite as long, but they will fill in fast. This one here, just not even much time. There's the main vine. I'm going to direct it this way. And the main vine is going to continue along here. We'll run it past K. We've got a few weeds to get rid of there. This one here is a secondary vine that came off of the plant. I terminated that one right there. So these are all tertiary growth that is growing off of that secondary. I think maybe that one, because it's starting to not grow as strong, is the secondary that came right from the pumpkin. So that makes sense because the pumpkin's starting to take up all the juice. But there she is. One last look at that girl. She purdy. Plant purdy. Kate? <laughs> Are you purdy? <laughs> Kate had to come over and check out the Twitch camera right away, didn't you, bud? Yeah. I saw him. He's like, oh, I wonder why it's sitting here. 
Watching that girl. You can watch it 24 seven. Twitch, growing underscore giants. That's us, right bud? Yep. These girls are growing on there. So if you want to see what it looks like today, in case you're watching this video a week or two from now, this is what the plant look like right now. It's good, but it's going to be 100 degrees today. It is going to be hot from here on out because it is June 24th, and this is our hot time. So it's easy to get to this point in Kansas. It's hard to maintain. That's what we're in, maintenance mode. We want to maintain, we want to keep the health going. This is the 2425 Deletus. It is on day 19. The other one has really picked up steam. This one is picking up steam, not quite as fast. Still going to be a, an amazing pumpkin. We're going to get some really good. That one's going to be really good for a day. I mean, not really good. It's going to be a good day 20 number for us. <laughs> it's no patent, but it's a good day 20 number. So here's the plant. Just a teeny bit to fill in right there. There's our main vine. Like I said, I'll probably try to direct it. I might even just say to heck with it. And I probably, actually, I think I'm going to terminate that one now that I think of it. The leaves are so big here. If I try to get and wade in and out of this plant to take off secondaries from that vine, I think that's going to cause me more problems than if I just terminate it. It's going to get terminated in a few days. So if you think I shouldn't terminate it, tell me what you'd do. Otherwise, bye-bye main vine. Here's the other one, secondary. They got one coming back here because I want to fill in more space. Like I said before, I want tons and tons of green growth. We've got it. Plants are going and filling in their allocated area. There's some vines coming here to fill in right there. Another vine right behind it, filling in that area. And then that's it. This plant will have all of its allocated area filled in. I actually turned another vine because I'm like I said, I'm trying to get a lot of growth. It's right back there, right in there. And that one I'm gonna grow right through here, fill in some of this space and some of these plants take up behind the pumpkin. So lots of growth, lots of health. The pumpkin plants, what do you think, bud, of this one? Tell us what you think of this pumpkin right here. The camera's right here. I think that the other one is probably a little bit more healthy. Like they're both really healthy looking, but I uh -huh. like the other one a little bit better. You like the shape. This one's shape is not quite as as purdy as yeah. the other shape. Okay. But what do you think of this one here? Do you think this one will be white or do you think it's going to... I've been telling I everybody, I think it's out. White. Huh? White. You think this one's going to be a white or pumpkin? Or beige? Won't be orange. Okay. Because I, I, I'm still... Jury's still out on this one. I don't know what that one's going to do yet. It might be more of a beige, not a... Not a white, but not an orange. Where that one, now that you look at this one, you think that one for sure be orange, huh? Yeah. How about the plant health on this one? Pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of sun spots, but not bad. Yep, exactly right. That's a giant pumpkin grower right there. Notice the sunburn on uh, some of the leaves. Everybody else looks at this and says, it's the biggest plant they ever seen. A giant pumpkin grower like Kate or myself, we see a little bit of sunburn here and there. Like, oh, that wasn't quite perfect right there. Yeah. No disease, nope. but sunburn. All right, keep them growing, people. There she is. <laughs> it's go time.